Hi guys, uh, Emma is live but having a few audio difficulties at the minute so I'm just making sure that I'm actually watching directly live. But yeah, uh, looking forward to tonight. I've got, um, this is white oak, the reason it's a dark colour like that is it was part of a water wheel for a hundred years and being in contact with the water has brought out the uh, it's reacted with the iron in the oak and got some gorgeous colour there. I'll show you closer up when we get to it. And they sent me a pic earlier of the, the cup chucks that she's turned for holding the spear once, you, once we get it there. Um, hopefully these will uh, do the trick. Ah, there she is. Let's bring the uh, sound over. So I can hear over the... Uh, Record yeah. air filter. Yeah. That's um, right. I'll show you the ones that I use and then we'll make another pair. Very cute. And then we'll want to turn the spear. Right then. Excuse the dark dark. Let's get started. Do, 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 do. So. When I sent you out. Here's two I prepared earlier. Might have to mess around, might as well turn the spare. I've got a bit of a crack in this one, so I'm going to do that one. Also, I'm going to label, which, uh, just turn Emma down in a second. I'm going to label which jaw corresponds to wear on the chuck so that if I have to take it out and replace it I can get it true. I've got a bit of a crack just here, I'm going to stabilise it with some super glue. Get some shavings. Misaligned them I think. I'm cutting it uh, a little bit fine there. As you can yeah, see, the jaws are pretty much all the way closed, but so this is pine, so quite soft. Right, now then, probably I am going to this. Tail stop, so I don't get them mixed up. I've got another ten and end as a backup. I'm actually uh, nervous about turning a spear. My first one that it is. Sharp and the pencils. Right, good guy. Just win it. Yeah, if you don't have it, just win it. At least you're having a go. <laughs> Winking it. Story of my life. Yeah, I found with the 50mm jaws right. on the SC4 chub, but if I turn the tenon down to just oh, about okay. the width, uh, the outer width of the jaws, whilst I'm holding uh, the step centre. So that's the side is the ends up so just about the perfect for the for, uh, it just to sit in there. That should be probably down probably the enough. So that I wish I'd got a piece of timber big enough to just try doing a jam chuck. One of the guys at our uh, local club demoed us for yeah, the only time I've seen it other than watching now. I'm sorry my video is not exactly riveted at this stage, but I've uh, skipped ahead. I have a feeling these might be a bit wide, so I might be doing a rapid uh, change on them. Here we go. This oak stinks. I'm going to smooth that off with a skill now. Got me to rest a little higher. I like to work higher on the top when I'm using a skewer. Oh, that's a good one. 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 I wish I could hand sharp like you. It's equal. Ah! Calipers! It's got to be. 
and then I'm going to take a beating party to shatter the face of the resin. Time for the big down. I'm hoping this isn't set to something specific. I'm lost. I've lost where I look to. So. This is optional, you don't have to do it. Oh, no, um, you're telling me. Just helps you see if you're oversizing or undersizing. I haven't marked the quarters yet. This is harder than turning. I'm behind and I don't like it. I'm just going to wing it. Clear some shape to work. I think I'm going to have to pass off. Having to look at his business card to see what his Instagram address is. Oh, you know I feel those. Where's my circle bit? I'm panicking! Just have to go and change the card on the camera. Stupid, stupid but dad, I got it like now. He's not looking. Bit the sheer scraping. Sod it. Heavy paper, you're doing it, I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. I just realised you, you made your cup shots much smaller. Mm -hmm. I'm just rapidly turning down there. Uh, my coot tubes! Right chaps, bit of a recap, um, yeah the sphere that we did on the uh, tiny turn along last Saturday, this is the first chance I've got to uh, have a closer look at what we've done really, and number one, if anyone was following along and saw my comments, you'd know that I started waving around the gouge randomly and that ended up in a couple of quite severe catches ripped end grain and the like there's the other one oh, that's not so bad but it's the first sphere I've ever done so I'm not going to sack myself just yet and I must admit this oak nobody knows exactly how long it had spinning around on that water wheel but white oak in contact with water for so long and probably a little bit of tar as well resulted in this beautiful black so not terrible 
Could do better. It'd be good for crown green bowling, I tell you that much. Make a good jack, although oversized. Now for some artistic shots of the wave and the sphere. See you all later.